Today on Cravings for Adventures, I'm going to show you an easy peasy stir fry barley recipe that you're going to make over and over and over. In this recipe, pot barley is soaked, boiled and drained and then it's sauteed together with a medley of ingredients like potato, onion, we've got sausage and bacon, spinach and green peppers and it's finished off with a little bit of soy sauce. It is so easy to prepare and so quick to put together. I used to prepare this all the time when my boys were growing up and I quite forgot about this recipe. It's not even really a recipe. You can put anything together with pot barley and make a delicious meal. Now there's different types of barley available in the marketplace. You get whole barley, pot and pearl. Now the differences are whole barley has not been husked. Pot barley and pearl barley are both processed, but pearl barley is polished a lot more than pot barley. All of these barleys are used quite interchangeably in any recipe. If you use whole barley, the only thing you have to remember is that it takes a longer time to cook. Today I'm using pot barley and I know there's a lot of debate about whether you should soak the barley or not. Personally, I prefer to soak my barley overnight. Now I'm going to start with two and a half cups of barley. I'm going to add that to a bowl and I'm going to cover it with water. I'm going to leave it aside overnight and the next day you can see the difference. The barley grains have puffed up. I'm going to make sure to wash this because you can see there's a lot of white sediment in the water. I'm going to wash the barley at least twice and then I'm going to drain it really well. I'm going to add my drained barley to a pot of boiling salted water and cook it till it's al dente. This should take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. While my barley is boiling away, I'm going to get really busy with all of the other ingredients. Now I like to cut everything in a really small dice. I've got a potato that I've peeled and I'm going to chop that as well as an onion followed by two large handfuls of spinach that I'm going to chop rather coarsely. I've also got a green pepper that I'm going to cut in a small dice. Next, I'm going to work on the meat. I've got about four sausages that I'm going to cut in really small pieces. I've also got some turkey bacon that I'm going to cut rather finely. Once my barley is done cooking, I'm going to drain it really well and I'm going to leave it in the strainer so the barley is fairly dry by the time I need to use it. While my barley is draining, I'm going to work on the rest of the ingredients. I've got a hot saute pan going. I'm going to add some olive oil to that. And then I'm going to add all of the diced potato. Now we're going to cook this till it's nice and golden brown on all sides. You want this potato to be nice and crunchy. I'm also going to add one red onion that I've cut really fine. And I'm going to cook this till it's nice and golden brown. I'm going to follow this with the four sausages that I've chopped up as well as the four rashers of turkey bacon that I've chopped up really fine as well. I'm going to add the green pepper that I chopped earlier and it's going to add a lovely freshness to the dish. Next, I'm going to add a cup of cooked chicken. Now, I always have some chicken lying around. I always make a roast or I have something on the grill. If you don't have chicken, you can leave this out. I'm going to move all the ingredients to the side, making a large well in the center, and I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. Now, if you're using regular bacon or chorizo, that's going to have enough oil in it where you won't need to add any more oil. But since I'm adding turkey bacon and chicken sausage, I wanna add a little bit of oil just to stir fry my barley. I'm going to add my barley to the center of this pan and I'm going to just have it sit there for a few minutes so it caramelizes at the bottom. I'm now going to mix my barley in with the rest of the ingredients and I'm also going to flavor it with about four tablespoons of light soya sauce. Now this is going to give the barley stir fry its umami flavor. If you want to add a bit more soy sauce, you can just taste it in between and if it's not salty enough, just add a little bit more. Now I'm going to cook this for a few minutes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for a few seconds before I stir it. And this enables the bottom of the barley to caramelize just a little bit. Once I know it's got a little bit of caramelization at the bottom, I'm going to stir it and I'm going to keep doing that a few times. I'm now ready for my spinach that I cut rather coarsely. I'm going to add my spinach in, give it a good mix, cover it, leave it for at least a minute, 
and then it's ready to serve. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I do hope you enjoyed this super easy recipe. Please do visit my channel, subscribe to it, leave me a comment, tell me what you think and stay tuned to the end of the video for other recipes. Until I see you again, do take care. Bye.